Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to enjoying more of Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chet, if you're a 333, and we're remaining in the Cathedral of the Deep for the time being, and probably for at least one more episode. Actually, I would hazard to say at least two more episodes. This is a large area, like, really amazingly giant area. It's like two areas of any prior areas we've been through. It's big. Oh, right. I don't know why I can't seem to get used to your attack patterns, but it doesn't matter. You're dead. The important thing is that you die. The other important thing is I managed to get rid of that giant efficiently enough. If I can get rid of that before I fight, or before I encounter patches, it's just hilarious. Alright, so first thing I want to do is raise this to give me a bit of a safe location to be in. Because it stops the giant from coming in. And there was another one I could raise. But I don't recall where to find it. Or somewhere in the back, it raised one of the... It raised that one over there. Doesn't do a whole lot of good, except, you know, it's kind of nice. Or if I could just not... Or I could. I could. It's right here. It's not too close. They won't They won't spot me, I don't think. Please don't spot me. I'm on a stealth mission. Of sorts. Alright, that works. So yeah, the key thing at this point is... Partly, I can just sort of go. Partly, I can firebomb these things to death. Or at least partly firebomb these things to death. But, like I said, I can just go, because in the swamps, it doesn't matter. I can... Ah, come on. Oops, I was already two-handed. I can use this the sweep attack, and it works fine. Ah! What? Okay, that's new. I've never actually been that far away from the giant. But yeah, I can do this, and that's really cool. And I, I guess a Drang person was here before, and had a bad time. Okay, seriously, you're getting cut to the legs. How much damage is this thing taking, anyway? I'm not sure I'm actually doing all that much to it by attacking its feet. And I would be wrong, except I'd also be dead, because I was looking too much of its health bar and not enough at my own life. Oh. Alright, let's try this again. As long as I don't get stomped on, I should be fine. Actually, if I get over here, I should be even better, because then I can deal with some of the side enemies. Not worrying too much about... What the heck's going on? Okay, let's not lock my camera onto anything. Let's be a bit careful here. I don't want to lock my camera onto things and then get killed as a result, which is going to happen if I'm not careful. Yeah, oh, come on, you. Or apparently otherwise if I don't. Ah, okay, perfect. This is what I was looking for. I wanted to be able to throw firebombs at these things in relative peace. Or otherwise cut them to pieces. The giant, for reasons largely pertaining to ranged weapons, won't attack you unless you're close enough for it to care. If it can't hit you in melee, it doesn't even pay attention to you. And I really wish the camera would actually lock on. There we go. Okay, that's not what I want. It might attack me. It might not attack me. I don't know. Like, basically, if I, I can do this, and it's actually active right now, but as soon as it becomes inactive, it takes effectively no damage. So the key thing here is partly burn these. And I probably should have gotten some pine resins or something. Like ashen pine resin or something that it uses. But yeah, if I had that, obviously life would be a bit easier, but whatever. Oh wait, wait a sec, wait a sec, this is perfect. I can I can just get this thing to fall asleep briefly. Because yes, the, the giant fight is a little bit tedious. But if I can get this thing to do the fall asleep thing, that it does sometimes. You... <sighs> Darn it. These slimes are not my friends. I get that. I'm very well aware of the fact that these slimes are not my friends. Mostly because they are not the camera's friends. Or they are the camera's friends. That's the problem. If they could stop being the camera's friends, we would have an easier time here. Oh, darn it. Does it get no, I don't get any damage in shoot. Ah, <sighs> would you stop it? I don't know why the camera's being so picky about stuff. Like it should, in theory, jump between different lock-on points on the monster. I don't know why it's not Okay, it's doing it now. Ah Okay, that was scary. I don't need more of my Ash Nestus in order to be able to actually hit this thing with iframes. Ah, there we go. What the... Oh. Okay, most of the slimes are at least dead. 
most, if not all. Aha! I don't know how damaged you are. Well, it doesn't matter. You're... I'm not dead. That's the important thing. Not dead yet, at least. And I can consistently deal damage to you! And you can't seem to hit me. I just know how much health you have left. It's like my Monster Hunter, where you don't know the boss's HP. Or the monster's HP. You really don't in that game. It's actually kind of annoying. You get used to it, but... In this case, you know, just hit. Eventually they'll die. And I think at this point it'll actually be very soon, since it doesn't have all that much HP compared to what I'm dealing. Like, every couple of volleys is like 100 damage. There we go! I knew it was going to die eventually. i just rather kill it before getting dropped down into the area it's in. It makes life easier. Our Titan Hunter. Hey! That's enough to upgrade stuff. I can upgrade my daggers to level 4, or to plus 4. That's going to be nice. There's another one of you. I kind of don't care. I do care about the fact that I'm out of FP. Like, the plum out of FP. I've got nothing. But I do have Drang Armor, which might be a bit more efficient weight-wise. I don't remember. Let's see here. Drang Armor. Drang Armor. Drang Armor is a bit lighter. Actually, loads lighter, apparently. But not as good for a lot of other things. What about Drang Gauntlets? Drang Gauntlets are a lot lighter. Not actually that much defense. Or not much defense lost. So what I'm thinking, of course, is that if I switch over to something that's a bit lighter but doesn't change absorption that much... And the Lord's, the Lord's Ring is making it difficult for me to judge. Okay, that's not bad. So yeah, if I can do that, and that would allow me to do something like that. Ah, not quite. It would almost allow me to have a Twin Blade alongside the daggers. Now, let's see if I can build around that. Let's see, if I change this over to Drang Leggings, or what's the... Is that the best I can go for that's within the weight range? Yeah, it looks like Northern is my best bet. Or possibly Herald, actually. Very possibly Herald. I don't have to worry. I'll have to worry about fires pretty soon. I think. I think Herald's gonna be my best bet. You know, I like the way the Northern looks. Yeah, Herald's. No, actually, no, Northern's better. I'm gonna be fight. I'm gonna be facing Pyromancers. Alright, so I can now do both daggers and if I want to. Twin Blades! Awesome. Actually, can I do. Nah. I'm debating whether to put them in the left hand or the right hand, but I think I'll put them in the right hand. So alternate offhand, alternate main hand weapon. I was curious if I was going to use this, actually. To be perfectly honest, I was wondering to myself, am I going to actually end up using the Twin Blades? I can invest a fair amount into them, am I going to actually... I don't need you. I need you. Yeah, I was like, am I going to actually make use of that investment? The answer is yes. Oh wait, am I going to... Can I... Yes, I can backstab! I can get FP back! It's free FP. Oh, I could have actually parried that. I don't know how, because it's a really weird attack to parry, but hey! It's free FP. It's free FP day. For me. It's a great day. It's the best day of the year is free FP day. So they're done. There's a couple others, aren't there? Nope, looks like no. Looks like it's just that one cathedral night. And the fact that I'm going to go up here and talk to Patches, most likely. I think Patches is here. I mean, I know it's a bit roundabout and Patches does that silly thing where he makes my life miserable by knocking me down, even though I can just go back up and it's not a big deal. Oh, I think Patches is here. I just go over here and... no. Do I have to leave? Do I have to open that door first? I might have to open that door first. I'm pretty sure I screw up the quest if I go over to the other side first. But I thought he was here. Hmm. I honestly don't remember. I think I have to open this door, go outside, possibly go to the bonfire, and then come back. And then he comes in, something like that. It's... It's a bit weird. Yeah, go through here, and it's like, Hey! This is where we came in! We're back in this grotto area! And there's that warden! Who never seems to give me their twin blades! They are stingy as hell. I'm debating whether to go after them. I might as well, actually, when I think of it. I have... 
There we go. See, I can. I can do it. I can do a thing, and I get more FP as a result, which is nice. Oh, and I don't manage to get anything. Ah, oh, where? Okay, you're still gonna die. Not gonna get any more FP off of you, but no. You do not want to lose that weapon, do you? You really don't want to lose that weapon. Fine. That's fine. That's acceptable. I'm not gonna, not gonna judge in the fact that you are a stingy and rather cold-hearted person, but the bridge is up. That means that Patches is there. Good, we are on track. I can possibly get the parrying dagger and test whether it is the better option. Hey, Patches. Hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure? Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Okie dokie. I know. I know. Yes, yes. Well, let's do the thing. I don't know if I have to do this to get patches on the other side, but that's fine. And now they'll lower it and go away. Where's the giant? <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. They only. Oh yeah, they only voiced the male one. I found that out. I found that out before. Thought you could outwit an onion. Well, yes. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. What giant? <laughs> anyway. So that was Patches of Katarina. And, yeah, Where's this. The giant? This is hilarious. What? Where's this the, the bloody giant? giant? Just, Just what have you done? How, How dare you? you? Have you no shame? No, I don't. I don't have any shame. Which is why I'm mocking your own voice. Due to my distinct lack of shame. So, here's the tricky thing now. I mentioned before there was a shortcut that I could have taken, and then from that shortcut gone up and done other stuff. And that's actually something I could have easily done from where I was. I don't know why I went over here again, other than getting this ember. But otherwise, yeah, actually, don't really need to worry about that stuff. I can just take the shortcut back and then go through the top section. Because the thing about the top section is that it gets me to the other side, allows me to raise that bridge again, and then that also gives me a, a bonfire in case the deacons kick my butt. Which they might. I don't know. I've never actually fought them properly leveled with a character that's halfway decent. I've only found them with a character that's kind of really ill-suited to fight them. Which I know sounds weird, but yeah, that's actually... A pure crossbow build was my attempt, and it did not work especially well. Thankfully, it was also a, a partial sorcery build, which did work well. I should see Leonard here, now that I think about it. Hey, it is! Hmm. Unkindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lord's absconded? Then these red eyes are for you. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. Okay. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Not sure what duty you mean, but sure, pillage whatever. Ember, whatever. All right. Well, see you later. They're not a particularly good person, just as a side note. They're an okay person, just not, you know, good at being a person. There's certain skills to being a person, which Leonard lacks. Also, they haven't actually said their name, but I know it, because I know who Leonard is. I also know that they're going to be a bit of a pain in the butt later on, but not yet. Merciful God. Although actually not very much later, because this is the place I have to go in order to get to the place to get to the upper cathedral. Where we fight Abridus and find out the insanity that awaits everything and what is truly behind it all. But before that, we have to go through the rafters and fight a couple of deacons and some other things. And again, I feel like beating you to death. Just punching you until you die. I know it's not efficient, though it does get me HP. 
but hey, it's fun. And yeah, you you get HP based on the number of attacks that hit things, like the number of hits you have. So big sweeping attacks on large groups of enemies, that works pretty well. Even if it's one attack, it could be several hits because of all the enemies being hit. Come on, camera. It's right there. Or it could be one attack that hit one attack that hits once, but does a boatload of damage for hitting once. What? Seriously? What is the timing on that? Okay, what? This is... Oh, come on. I feel cheated. I'm still not used to the parry timing in this game. It is so weird sometimes. Which is actually why I'm really reluctant to use the... The <sighs> other stuff. The, the parrying dagger, which I just realized I'm not in any position to get because... Even though I've dealt with patches, I don't have the tower key. I need the tower key to get that. So we'll do that next episode. I'm, I'm worried about the deacons that deep right now. Next episode, we'll get the parrying dagger. This episode, we fight the deacons of the deep, hopefully killing them. Actually, given my weapon choice, probably killing them. They're mostly an issue if you're not using... Oh, come on. If you're not using melee weapons, then they're a pain in the butt. But I am using melee weapons, so they'll be less of a pain in the butt. They'll be a mild pain in the butt, but there's a trick I can do with the Cestus to get me poised quickly that will make them less of a pain in the butt. And now you... I'm just going to kill you less normally. Or more normally, as it were. For some various definition of normal... Where's the thing that dropped on me? Oh, you don't drop! You... You... Come on. Seriously. How are you... How are you going... Sh blow for blow against me right now? All right, I can do this parrying thing. I know how to do this parrying thing. If the camera would do its job, I would be in good position. Ugh, come on. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I still don't have Ultra's Brew because I won't have that for a while, but at least I can get the parrying. Because I need to practice that. That is a good thing to practice. Parrying is super important in this game. There it is. Actually, that area there, that's the... That is the path I'm looking for. I am, however, sadistic and bloodthirsty, therefore I will... eventually get into here. Where is that next thrall? Okay, well, Halber Halberdier's here. And Halberdier is no longer here! Or almost. Oh man, I am like... They're like one damage away? No, they're dead! I one-shot them! Hey! That's cool. I didn't realize I one shot them at this point. Okay. So there's going to be some of those jerks coming up here, the thralls. Which I still say are the hardest enemies in the game. I stand by that. Look at this one who's apparently grieving. Picked a bad time and place. Another pale tongue. Nice. So I guess grieving someone who was killed by an invader. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, they were. Oh, wait, no, that's this, this thing here. It's this burned corpse that's probably killed by an invader who then got a pale tongue but forgot to take it with them. Oh, well, their loss is my gain. So before we go inside, there's these last couple rafters I want to go down on which I am well aware there's something. I just don't know exactly where. I just know that there's something. Like, I go through here and I'm going to be in a fight immediately afterwards. And I don't know why. Oh, that's where you are. Okay. That explains it. Well, that's fine. I can just cut you and then get HP I don't need. But that's fine. HP I don't need is still HP you don't have. Even though it's not actually a life drain effect. It's just a damage effect. It's a hits give me life effect. Oh, that's where you are. Get down there. Get away from me. I don't need to fight you. I don't need to kill you. I just need you out of the way. And then you, same thing. Although, why not do both? Oh, that's it? Seriously? Well, now that we're done here, let's continue inside. Where is the... I think the nearest entrance is right here. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. So yeah, this area is a little bit tricky. There's a lot of raptors, a lot of thralls, and one cathedral knight. Oh, yeah. They shoot at me. The jerks. 
Oh, wait, there's... Oh, yeah, there's more than one Cathedral Knight. Oops. There's actually several Cathedral Knights. Many of whom have crossbows. Which I can deal with. Actually, that's actually how I fought them the first... Last time I was here. With, granted, only crossbows, but still. Did the trick. Except I wasn't quite as aggressive advancing on them. Did that just go through my legs? No, oh, that one didn't. All right, that's not gonna work. I need to be a bit more careful, or a bit less careful. One of the two. I think, the, given the HP they have, the answer is less careful. No, maybe. Maybe. Shoot, that's gonna be. That's gonna suck. Maybe the answer was more careful. Just get down to the side of the rafters and then get around. I can get over here, get them onto this side. Okay, now we're good. I mean, we're sort of good. It's subjective. Ah, oh, what? Wow, that's a shorter pairing window than I expected. See, the key thing here is that I didn't want to have too much to deal with. Oh, come on. Would you... Would you not... Okay, that's gonna not... That's gonna hurt. That's gonna smart if I'm not careful. Aha! That's gonna smart you because you weren't careful and I got the parry in. I wish this ruby's gonna be such a nice thing to have. By the time I get that, I'm gonna have the Ring of the Evil Eye as well, so just flat health boost on kills. And I'm gonna have all the stuff from... Oh, what? And I'm gonna have all the practice practice parrying on top of that. Uh, seriously, another one of you? Uh, there's a lot more of you than I expected there would be, actually. I forgot how many Cathedral Knights are in this area, because I know there's one there that's guarding something, and there's this guy who's fighting ranged, who doesn't seem to get broken by anything. And this guy who's fighting ranged, who... I'm just gonna punch... <gasps> okay. Punch and not fall to my death fighting. That's the important thing, is to not die. As... To me, the most important thing in life is to not die! Why did you hit me? Why did you kill me? Let's try this again. This time without dying. Oh, seriously? Man, your attacks are slow. Ah, and thankfully I managed to work it out this time. And now you die, and now I get to make you back. Okay. There we go. Get quite a bit back. Oh, a blessed gem. Whoa. And a Cathedral Knight Greatsword. Not that great, but okay, cool. Did I ever get one of these before? Oh, I think I did. Actually, yeah. This... This looks familiar. I wouldn't have used it, though, because what's the strength requirement on that thing? Well, it's something ridiculous, right? No. 26. Yeah, actually, my other character could have used that. This one won't be able to. But the other one would. But yeah, the other thing is the faith requirement is kind of... Kind of crappy to deal with, gotta be honest. So, given what I have to deal with here, there's a mace wielder, there's a sword wielder, and the mace wielder is being a bit of a threat at range, but I can headshot it. If I headshot it, then I'm good, and I can kill it. And I can headshot it. Ah, there we go. Ow. If I can get the angles right, and the timing right, and the headshot's right, then I kill it. And it's not very good at accuracy. I'm winning this, winning this ranged fight here. You're clearly not very good at this. And somehow I did not get hit by that. Aha! You are dead, and I think you are unnecessary to ki Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. This one's one that's unnecessary to kill. Although I got the mace. No, it's that sword wielder that I have to kill. Well, that's just perfect. Well, given the circumstances, I suppose I'd be best off killing it this way. I mean, what works better than an arrow to the head? And then a game of runaround. As I try to avoid it completely. See ya! I don't need to kill ya. You don't really provide me anything. I just needed to get you out of the way. I, come on. 
There we go. Oh, okay. And hey, full of Estus flask. Nice. No, it took me one try. Two tries. Only one death. Although it seems like it's almost going to be two deaths if I'm not careful. But there should be right here the thing. Wait, who are you? Oh. Y yes. Thank oh, you. hey. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. Hello again, Patches. You seem to be unkindled. Yep. Do you have business with me? Ah, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. You're just like you're in a setting where that might be true. Truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? <sighs> yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> You done? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, just a little trick. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, you should, if you're as unkin. Oh. Oh, hey. I got that sooner than I expected I would. I thought I had to wait until I got to the tower first. Hey. Cool. All right, well, I guess we'll go to Firelink Shrine eventually. But yeah, this is the path I was talking about. And now I'm wondering if I should use the parrying dagger instead of the Cestus. I mean, on the one hand, the parrying dagger is more in keeping with the overall dagger-related theme of the character. On the other hand, it's slower. Like, if I put up both, I actually use both simultaneously, when I think of it. I could just compare it right now, so... And... Yeah, that's faster. One, two... One... Actually, is that faster? That's really hard to tell. Like, I, I've i read that the parrying dagger is slower, but has more has the same number of parrying frames as the Zestus. But I don't actually know. Like, apparently the parrying dagger is as fast as the rapier, and if you remember the early episodes, the rapier did not serve me well. So, I don't know what to think about that. Ah, crap! Also, the Zestus gives me poise, which I can make great use of in situations like this one. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's not- that's not good. That's really not good. Would you stop it, you bastards? Get away from- Oh, again, the weight issue. I didn't check that first. I've really gotta be careful about that. And that's what I mean by- Ugh. I hate the weight system sometimes. I can't do both. Okay, whatever. Pairing dagger. We'll try that. Oh, crap. I need to put a torch on. Alright, screw the... I, I'm not going to make the Twin Blades. Oh, I know the Twin Blades are going to work in this fight, though. It's the idea. The next fight's going to be the Twin Blade fight, because there's a boatload of enemies. And not a lot of critical attacks to be had. And now, to avoid making the mistake that I've made many times before, which is to not rest at the bonfire. And here's Rosaria! Hey, Rosaria! Oh, right, you're mute. But, hey, anyway. I now can be a, a finger. I can also respec and change my appearance. I am, however, quite fine with both, in fact. I, I'm quite happy with them. I mean, I guess I could respec to get the Intelligence 22 to get the Farron Greatsword, but, meh. I have other ways to do this. I don't need the Farron Greatsword. So, considering the circumstances, I think it's a very optimal time to first off kill this thing, because I don't know what it does, but it does something. Wait. Oh, wait, you're peaceful. I'll kill all the others first. And then I'll kill you. I'll, I mean, I'll be nice. I'll kill you last. It's the best I can do, really. Which you might say is not very good, and I would say, well, that's kind of rude of you to mistake my intentions for anything more than the pure intentions they are. And I'd say you're very untrustworthy. And I don't very much respect that. 
Yep. I imagine you drop something. Red sign, stope stone. Oh, I see. So if you're if you're enough of a jerk to kill this peaceful maggot creature, well, it's actually somebody who's just respect too, one too many times, then you get to put down the red sign, stope stone, because you're clearly that much of a bastard. Hmm. Seems legit. And there's patches. That's cool. I'm going to play around with the parrying dagger for a little while. I'm curious between the two of them which I'll prefer. And the parrying dagger means that I can parry a little earlier and it'll work. The cestus means that if something happens that I have to react to, it's easier to do. It's a weird trade-off, but I think that the parrying dagger is going to win out in the end. However, for now, I need to switch over to these twin blades. It's just going to be way easier to deal with the enemies I have to deal with next. Like, the boss up next is one that I really would rather deal with with Twin Blades. Isn't there something I can pick up from here? Like, I thought there was. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting something. Yeah, yeah. See, that's exactly what I mean. I can just cut things in wide sweeping motions, and it's no problem. The only downside is the higher stamina cost and the fact that it's longer... It's longer swing time can be a bit of a problem for certain things. Hey, I can actually test the parrying dagger right now. If I would switch to it and not get broken out of my attacks, why can't I move? Could being stunned me. Um. Oh, shoot. Not quite as late as I thought. Ugh, darn it. This is really confusing. I mean, this doesn't... I haven't actually parried anything with it yet, so I don't know how it parries. Hey, there we go. Okay, well, it's still pretty good. Wow, the twin blades are no good as a weapon for the actual purposes of hitting someone. That's that's something we found out here. Ow. Also, I need to upgrade the hell out of them. Why are you not being backstabbed? I was behind you, wasn't I? There we go. All right. Feeling good about the parrying now. I'm actually thinking I've got a chance here. But, yeah. Oh, come on. You had, a he you had to nut me? Really? That was your approach? I'm ashamed, man. I was low. I was just low. I was real low you, and I don't appreciate it. Now, I'm not in a great position to fight the boss. I'm still going to. I'm just not in a great position to do so. Mostly I'm going to because this boss, rather uniquely... Okay, I don't want this here either. This boss will actually drop Estus throughout the fight. Which is a weird reason to... What the? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's a re weird reason to just go for it, but yeah, I might actually just end up getting a bunch of Estus flasks. Not to mention the boss being what it is, I can heal up by attacking a bunch of it. I should not have done that. I'm not going to need a lot of magic, but that was a waste. Everything could have been much more efficient. So yeah, this is going to be, like, ow. Like, if I do this, I can get a bunch of Estus and a bunch of healing. That's why I actually went for this weapon. And in fact, if I play it the way I played it the crossbow time, everything will bunch up. Come on, bunch ye up. Bunch ye up, and then get ye cut! Ah, there we go. That's efficiency. So where's the one that actually has the thing? Ow. I mean, that's the thing. It's like I'm hitting so many with any one attack. It's like I don't even notice that I'm getting hit. It's actually kind of funny. Ow. You hit me. I almost don't care, but I do kind of care. And there we go. Again, I'm barely taking damage. Not to mention the Lloyd Sword Ring means that the first attack deals hardly any damage as well. And these things deal piddly damage at best anyway. Okay, seriously, I want to heal. Ow! You're, you're hitting me. You jerk. Okay, this is not... This isn't working, apparently. My strategy has run out of its effectiveness. Possibly because the number of enemies has thinned considerably. Not to mention this pillar here. Must you be away from the hill pillar? I get that you may be a pillar of the community, but this pillar is being a problem for me. Actually, I don't know how involved these clerics would be in their community. Maybe they're like research clerics that sort of do their job and don't really worry about things. Like their life is just just sitting in a hall, 
I'm trying to think about apologetics reasons for why Aldrich is the best and should eat gods whenever they want to. I mean, they're Aldrich is deacon, so I'd imagine that their job, in part, is to just make Aldrich's life work. Because they make, they're the deacons. Maybe they bring the gods to Aldrich. Actually, that's a really weird backwards way of making gods work. I mean, normally, clergy would, you know, serve deities, but in this case, we're thinking about clergy that's serving deities for dinner. Not quite the meaning I imagine most clergy have in mind. Ow. Okay, this is bad. I'm actually gonna Estus, because I got a free Estus, so I might as well. Ow. Make that go away. Ow! Why is my stamina all gone? Ah! Oh, crap. Must you hit me? Okay, I need to kill one of you guys. Okay, just get the curse to go away. Give me a bunch of HP back. Your death will be my life. Kind of wish I'd stocked up on green blossoms before I started this fight. That would have made it a whole lot easier. Weapon at risk? Oh, crap. All right, whatever. Let's just kill the deacon. Or the archdeacon, rather. And not let this thing get broken, ideally, in the process. Ah, man, this is hard to do without its stamina. This is why I got extra stamina, actually, was because I figured I'd need it, and I was right. Okay, the weapon's not broken. It's not broken? No, quit hitting me! God, no! Oh, this is not good. Must you hit me? Why can't I hit things? There we go. No. Yes! Yes! One and done. Hi. And on two Estus flasks. And ending on two Estus flasks. With risking a weapon breaking. I did... Wow. That was a fight. So I got the doll. I beat the deacons. I actually don't know if there's anything else to do in the cathedral offhand. I think there isn't. No, no, there isn't. This is it. That's the cathedral. I hope you liked it. I thought after the first bit it was okay. I expected that would happen. That, that first bit on the raptors is a pain in the butt. It's the only time in this series I've actually started to feel a bit frustrated. Which is saying something. But, first off, let's get our weapon healed back up because it's not broken. So it's good now. Bonfires heal it. But otherwise, yeah, that was the Deegans. I have enough to get to the tower key. So next episode, we are going to start out by going to that tower. And checking out that tower. And it occurs to me, getting rid of that one enemy. That one enemy you may remember from the first episode that I didn't actually finish off. Well, they're going to die next. So, for now, thank you for watching, and enjoy stuff.